Hey, hey, hey. Two of my biggest fans I already see there. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? What a crazy, crazy week. I know I said it last week, too. How is everybody doing? Over here on Facebook, I'm in my Empowered Spirit Circle. Let's just check everything. I'm over here on Instagram. Hey, Millie. Hey, Shad. Thanks for joining me. Hey, Maris. Hey, Marlo. Hey, Paul. Thanks for joining me. I know there's so many live streams, everything going on, and I guess that's a really good thing. More and more ways to find people to communicate with, people to learn from, people to practice with. So, yeah. Boy, social media and the internet. We're really depending on it right now, aren't we? So come on in and join me. I am grateful. I am too. And let's take a few moments to bring our energy together and see what's going on for the week. All right. I think I am. I've got volume. I'm live streaming. I've got people over there. Hey there. Let me know how you're doing. All right. Give me a comment or two. Like what's going on? Are you caught up in the fear? Are you having a hard time? Let me know. As people are coming in, let me know how you're feeling. All right, so because tonight we're going to do an Akashic Clearing, and we're going to really tap into some energy for clearing and letting go. So it's good to know what is going on out there. Beyond fear, y'all. Really, beyond fear. All right. So I see people coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I've got it good everywhere. Millie says she's good. Good, Millie. You've been posting some great things. Definitely. So give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Make sure you can. Let me know how you're doing. We've had so much going on this week. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the week ahead. And mostly tonight, we are going to spend some few extra minutes on aligning our energy and really lifting the vibration so we can have a week that is going to sustain us. All right? All right. So let's just begin. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream for the Empowered Spirit Show podcast. This is where we come on Sunday nights. We talk about the week ahead. We look at the cosmic forces. Boy, are they forceful. <laughs> really? And we align our energy and we look to the cards for guidance. All right? Intense week. Intense times. We've been talking about it. And as I said last week, it's definitely a, a month to remember for sure. All right, and we've been talking about a lot of these cosmic forces since January. We just weren't exactly sure how they were going to start to manifest. We've been talking about the old systems falling down, the energy shifting, the age of Aquarius. So that is exactly what we're experiencing now. That is exactly the energy going on. It's very transformative. It's very evolutionary. And then I see it, as I see it, really a step up for humanity. At least that's what's needed. That's what I'm talking about. So lots of fear going on, all right? I was trying to just watch a little bit of the TV today, just a little bit, or listen on NPR or something to see what's going on. And the more you listen, the more that fear just starts rising, 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 rising. Do you have the skills to deal with it? Do you have the skills to release some of that panic, rise above, go within yourself, and ask yourself the questions that you need to understand this? Really, do you have the skills? You know, today I was on a really great call with my class from the Akashic Records, Global Healing. We were doing some practicing, doing some energy, searching out and reaching out. And yeah, those aha moments can come when you tap into the higher vibrations. When you can tap into what is going on within your own spirit, this is how we work through. This is how we let go of the fear and really open up to ways. So what is your spiritual practice? What are those ways that you can open up? What is your spiritual practice? Don't say you don't have one. Everybody has one, even if it's just getting quiet. And then you start to deepen it. Then you start to really build what I'm like starting to call practical spirituality. We don't have to go all woo. We can. <laughs> we can if we want, but you don't have to. Practical spirituality, taking a few moments to breathe, closing your door at lunch, although we're all at home now, but still at lunch, closing your door and really deep breathing, really calming down, really getting rid of the excess chatter that you've picked up during the day. All right, tools to help you release the excess energy, tools to help you know that vibration, all right, lifting it up and staying in that high vibration. These are practical things that you're going to need as we move through this energy. Very practical. 
I mean, let's talk about it for a minute. Everybody goes, oh, well, you can't see Reiki or you can't see energy. You can't see the subtle body. Well, guess what? You can't see the virus. Think about that. You can't see the virus. So why can't we believe this other energy is working? Why can't we believe we can raise our vibration? Why don't we believe we can go into the higher realms? Why do we doubt the power of energy work? Yeah. So, yeah, just think about that for a moment. Do you agree? <laughs> do you agree? Fear is a big vibration. We don't see the fear. But it's out there and it's rising. Every time we hear the old man up there open his mouth, it's like more fear. This is where we have to really start to tune in, really start to look at that energy vibration. Really. You can do this. Now there's so many resources. Everybody wants to stay connected. Everybody wants to put the energy out there. Whether it's from doing yoga at home to energy work to whatever it is out there. Find some tools that you can work with. Because you're going to need to know how to trust those decisions. How to trust, <laughs> how to, Steph, you like that, the old man? Yeah, right? How to trust that intuition so that you know what the next step is going to take. Right? So I really want to say during this next week, we're going to see some more intense energy. We already are. All right? We had the new moon. Well, the new moon comes in on Tuesday. So we're in the dark of the moon right now. All right, it's dark out there. The tendency is to bring that vibration down. This is where we have to really maintain it. It may take extra work. All right, we also had that Aquarius energy. We talked about it last week, going into Saturn, moving into Aquarius, all right? And that's that destructive. That's that evolutionary. That's that thinking out of the box. That's that revolutionary energy. Saturn is also really good for stability too. For grounding in, perseverance, right? I got a little kyanite on, kyanite and selenite. Great stones for right now, persevere. Saturn's the one that's going to make you do that to-do list. Hey, Maris gets it like a triple A plus. She had, her, she had her workout schedule posted in the tracks and everything. That's what we need to do. Really figure out ways in which you can move through this, do your work, build your practice, and stay strong because we're going to come out. We just don't know how long. We're going to come out. So when we do come out, where do you want to be? Where do you want to see yourself when you come out of this? <laughs> Eating all your reserve candy, all right? Eating all your extra food, all right? But where do you want to be to get there? So each day when you come in, like, let go of the fear, let go of the panic, go within, ask yourself these questions that Saturn and Aquarius and all this energy, Capricorn, is pushing on us all right now. Now, the new moon comes in on Tuesday, and it's going to be a little intense. It's sitting between both planets. I mean, both of the nodes, all right? The north and south nodes. We've been talking about this. And it's got that Aries energy. Aries is fire, all right? Aries is going to push us a little bit, all right? So have that energy to know, go forward, know what your path is. Now, as we go to, to put out our intentions this month, I'm just going to ask to open it up a little bit. Lots of times we put them out for ourselves and what we need to do, what we want to see, but let's open it up to global energy, the collective consciousness. Put your intention out there to help mankind. Open up. This is on Tuesday. The new moon comes in. So what can you do to help open up that collective consciousness, to help lift the vibration and raise it up? That's the energy we're going to work through on Monday and Tuesday as we move through. Everybody's Monday is going to probably be different tomorrow. So find a way to really not get in the panic but really be able to use your own ability to make the changes you see. Ask yourself the question. And I'm going to say it again. Ask yourself the question before coronavirus, were you happy with your life? Were there things that you wanted to do? So dream a little as you go forward. If you have some extra time, get off social media some, all right? Dream a little. Put it out there. If I could, why not? We're in a revolutionary state. Why not? All right, and you know me, you know my work. If you're listening this far, you know I believe we have to raise the vibration. I believe spirituality is the way to get to the source of what your answers are. All right, I know this last week, like, how can I help? How can I help? How can I help? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? And the more I watch on social media, everybody's doing everything like, no, go within, be quiet, feel the energy. Find that purpose for you, your vibration. It's going to be different than everybody's. Your vibration is needed. So lift the emotion so that you can take that vibration and move through. 
That's how we work with the cosmic forces, all right? It's not a time to, to get into comfort zones. It's not a time to self-medicate. It's none of that is for there, all right? It is a time to be with nature. It's a time to go within. We're in for a huge shift in consciousness. Yes, we are. So be a part of it. Really, work on those skills. Work on those tools. Keep doing your practice. And the energy of Aries, what lights your soul on fire? What lights your soul on fire? And then take a step forward. Find your courage. Trust your gut on this. All right? Very important. All right? That new moon energy sitting between the comfort zone and your purpose. Where do you sit? You want to fall back into the comfort and stay there, and then we're going to come out of it, and then like, oh, my goodness? Or are you going to rise up a little bit and take a step toward living into that purpose? We're having this wave of consciousness, all right? And tune in when you can to the prayers and meditations. I know Marianne Williamson's doing them. Many people are doing them. Reiki Center, International Center of Reiki. Lift that up. That magnifies the vibration out. Now's the time to remember, like, what is your purpose? It's a really important time in humanity. Focus on what you can do for you right now in terms of lifting your vibration and how that vibration can help mankind at this time. Very important. All right, so the energy for this week, tomorrow we're all going to have a little bit of like a, uh-oh, definitely reset. That's the energy we, we're in. So when you notice like, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to be at work, but I'm at home and the kids are there or the whatever. Take a breath. Notice that we're in a reset. Find a routine to what you can do. Stick to your practices that are working for you, all right? The yoga, the breathing, the walking, those kind of things. Journaling, reading, those kind of things. Stick to those things, all right? So the new moon will come in on Tuesday. Set your intentions. Do a ceremony. Do a fire. Do whatever. Set your intentions and let them be global. All for the highest good. All right. Then we're going to have Thursday and Friday. We're going to have more of some of that panic feeling again because we're coming to the end of that second week and people are going to want to know about the third week and the fourth week. So really take a deep breath. And as you move towards the end of the week, get outside more. Put your feet on the earth. And bring in those messages from Mother Earth, all right? Really important to ground, 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 ground. Find your crystals, all right? Get those high vibrations. Really keep them in your hands. Keep washing your hands. Very important, all right? So let's just take all that energy in. And exhale out. And let's take this moment now to do this Akashic Clearing. So maybe you've been in my circles and you've known my Akashic clearings. Maybe you have not. So what they are is that they work in the higher realms. And I'm going to bring in the energy of the healing guides. All right, the healing guides come in. They connect with my hands. We're working in the higher dimensions. And I'm going to be able to ask you to come in as well in terms of like let your healing guides connect. All right, let your healing help. <laughs> I get so excited sometimes. I feel the energy. Let your healing guides open up. I will do, bring you through. We're going to start with the meditation, start running your energy, and then we're going to work to release the panic and the fear. We'll see what comes up the most. We'll let the guides do the work and lift the vibration, all right? All right, yes, a little note here from Maris. Outside with social distancing, all right? Yeah, I forget. I'm down here in Alabama. We'd, well, actually, on the, on the hike we had today, we saw a lot of people. But, yeah, social distancing even outside. Wash those hands. All right, let's do this. Just take a few extra minutes tonight. So wherever you are, if you can, taking a nice deep inhale, big sage, big energy, and exhale. Beginning to pull your energy in as you inhale, lifting that breath up the body. And as you exhale, send that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Inhaling. And exhaling. So we take this time to honor where we are. Right here. Right at the beginning of a new season. Lots of beginning new energy. And lots of old energy falling away. Taking this time to honor yourself right now. In the medicine wheel, we find ourselves right there at the path of the east. Where we do set new intentions and look at the energy of the sun shine each and every day. Calling in the directions for guidance and protection this week to the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, 
right into the very center, calling into your spirit, feeling the alignment of the energy coming forward. Pull your energy in, pull the field in. Call in your spiritual body as you call in your higher guidance. Feel that alignment right on the crown, coming right into the center. Exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Feel yourself grounding with the earth. And as you inhale, bring that breath all the way back up through the body, through the crown, up into the higher realms. And as you exhale, bring that breath all the way back down, opening up that channel of energy. Very important. Exhale all the way through. Feel the connection to the earth. Inhaling. And exhaling. Setting out the cords of certainties, releasing any match of pictures. So I recognize the energy of this collective consciousness. In honor of a greater good and free will, today I ask permission to work with the healing guides for all those that are here. I bow in reverence to Mother Earth. I bow in reverence to the air, the fire, the earth, and the water. Knowing there are no wrong choices, as we open up to this energy, we shift the possibilities. Taking a deep inhale and exhale. Calling in the healing guides. We allow them to come in as we open up to this energy. The healing guides began to move through the auric fields of this collective group. And we just start to scan through the aura, scan through the fields. And we start to release the excess energy. Starting right up here in the head, right up here in the head, there's a lot of energy moving around here. And so we just ask the healing guides to help us find this energy. So turn a bright red, any of that excess energy in the crown, the doubt, the fear, the losing faith, all of that energy going on through here. We turn it a bright red and the healing guides begin to release the energy out, just pulling it out, pulling it out so you can be strong in your connection to the higher realms, to divine guidance for your own self. You just begin to pull the energy out, releasing it down, releasing it out, dissolving it away. They continue to scan through the body, through the auric field. Magnifying the energy, pulling out what no longer we need, whatever's keeping us in that energy of fear. Right here in the throat, in the upper respiratory area here, that's where the virus goes. So we're just turning a bright red, anything at all, and releasing out that virus, releasing out the fear of the virus, releasing out that lower vibration of the virus, however you want to look at it. The guides are just pulling them out, pulling it out, seeing a white light come in, imagine, pretend, visualize a white light coming in as you release this fear all through here. White light being white light being shown upon, shined in here. Exhaling out. And they continue to scan through the auric field. Right over the adrenals, middle part of the back, just scanning through here. Scanning through here, releasing the fear. Doing this little figure eight thing. All right, opening up. So there is infinite potential out there. So releasing what you're afraid of right now. Releasing those lower vibrations. Releasing those lower vibrations right there. The adrenals, the kidneys, all that energy of fear. As we stay in the higher realms and move in that vibration, there will be infinite potential ahead. Having that strong faith. Knowing your spirit right now. Slowing it down, slowing it down, releasing out. Good. And then moving the energy down again, scanning back through the aura, down to the feet. Down to the feet. They're putting the weights on the feet, grounding your energy. Just feel your feet now. Feel your feet, grounding the energy. Feel the feet. They're just quietly pulling us all down, feeling our feet, grounding our energy.
Good. And now feel this golden light. They're shining above, right down through the auric field, all through the energy body. Golden light. Golden light. High vibration. Golden light. I am peace. I am peace is the message they're offering us. I am peace. Allow that elevated emotion of peace to lift up for you right now. Find that vibration. What is peace for you? Recognize that vibration. They're opening up the auric fields with peace, with light, radiating out, radiating out, radiating out. Feel that energy radiating out for you. Opening up the auric rays for strength, for courage, all the way up. Through joy, through love, peace. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Good. Now we hold this vibration as we go to close, imagining a beautiful crystal ball right above your head. See your name in red. And just imagine lifting up and releasing all of this energy down, separating our energies out. Be in your energy now, holding that vibration of peace. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Bring in the awareness back. Taking a moment, coming back. Just feeling that vibration of peace for you. Thanking the guides. Thank you the healing. Gratitude for this work. Coming back. Here we are. I believe it's March 21st on a Sunday evening. Coming back. Or whenever you're watching this, actually. Energy works knowing no time or space. All right. Very good. Notice how you feel. Post a comment or two. I'd love to know as well. I did finish all my hours. Yay. So thanks to all of y'all for helping me. All right. So let's go to the cards. How interesting. We drew this last week. I promise I shuffled. I used the cards throughout the week. The tower. Really no surprise. The tower. Everything is coming down. All right. The structures are falling down. All right. The energy is breaking apart. This is what's going on. We know this right? We know this. So what do you need to do to work with this energy instead of against it? What do you need to know? All right? That's a really big question for all of us. So the tower, we all know this. It's got the lightning bolt. It's got the fire. It's got the branches falling over, but we can work with this energy, all right? So the way in which we do, if you chose card number, number one, this is the eight of wands. All right, so this is all about having an aha moment. Yes, the universe is listening. This is about like being quiet, going deep within, having that inspiration, knowing what it is. It's like a eureka moment, all right? Maybe you've had them, maybe you haven't, but now's the time to get quiet, to ask the questions we were talking about early and listen, and listen to what that guidance is. Because if you aren't aware, if you're not paying attention, you could just miss it. It could just fly right by you. So really being quiet, and it's going to come in hard and fast. Look at the lightning bolt. All right, look at the way this is set up, right? There is some geometry to it. There's some sacredness to it. Fast understanding of what's going on for you and the way in which you can rebuild. Really important right now. Now, the second card is also a really good card too, the chariot. Another major, major arcana. Amazing. This is like, okay, know your path. Know your work, because you're going to need that horsepower to move through this. All right, really good. This is like determination. This is that Aries energy, although it's a horse, not a, not, an, not, an, not a ram, right? Don't be a sheeple either. There you go, Paul. Don't be a sheeple. 
be a ram, all right? All right, this is a horse, but it's horsepower, and it's that energy of being direct, all right? Knowing your work, having your skills, moving forward. I love this. I love the flight. It shows the action. It's horsepower. It's being on that path, all right? Yes, that horsepower, absolutely, right? All right, and then the third card's another major card. So we've got some really big cards along with that eureka moment, that aha moment. This is justice. All right, this is all about karma. All right, we're all in the midst of karma, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we are. So what you choose to do and how you choose to work through this is really important. The energy you put out is what's going to come back. The energy you set forth is going to come back. Like all the lines mirror each other. There's black, there's white, there's a sword coming. What is that gray space? What is that middle space? What are you doing to set up your karma? What are you doing to make shifts that need to be done? Very important right now that we look at this, all right? Very important that you look at how you're putting your energy in, how you're being of service to mankind right now, because this is all about karma and the actions we do and finding that balance, all right? Really good cards as we move through. The tower, we already had this from last week. We all know what this is right now. He never knew this card before. This is the energy of the card. Things are coming apart, all right? But I love this because this is a look for those signs. And this is like a big aha moment for yourself. It's like, wow, it's like, I get it, okay? It's like lightning bolt, all right? I had one today myself. I'll be honest, I really did. It just like hit me, all right? Put out exactly what you want to receive. Exactly, absolutely, Leah, great. Yes, absolutely, because this is going to drive you forward. Determination, gut, strength, grit, as we say here in the South, being on your path, knowing you have all the skills that you need and you can move forward. Having the guidance to that intuitive guidance, trusting your gut and moving forward. All right, horsepower. And then justice, which is our karma, which is the actions we put out is the actions that come back. So know how it is that you are able to step into motion, looking down the road a little bit for the actions that you create, maybe even cleaning up your karma. The earth is telling us right now, clean up our karma. Definitely. Yeah. So let's just take a deep inhale. Let it all settle in. If you like a card, I will be happy to pick some for you. In terms of what I'm doing, I will say that I am good. I am strong. I'm seeing clients online. I am taking um, more clients too as well. If you need a session, need help, I'm going to be doing a lot of free sessions, giveaways. I'm going to be doing tapping in the group. Come into my Empowered Spirit Circle. That is on Facebook. I will be doing tappings. Tapping is a really great way to get out of the fear. All right. Yes, right, Steph. So I will be doing that in the group. And I'm going to try and maintain my teaching schedule. Even though the studio is on open, I'm going to do a Reiki circle on Wednesday night. Come join me, and I'll be doing other stuff like that. Podcast is out. We had a great podcast from the um, spring equinox, right? That was great. And I have more guests coming up. All right. All right, Leah, thank you. All right, Maris wants a card. Leah, you want a card? Eileen and Steph. All right, that's over here, and then we'll come over to Facebook. All right, here we go. Maris. All right, Maris, you got the daughter of wands, and you are a good daughter for sure. So this is all about your passion, your desire. Stay innocent, stay faithful. Look at the growth. All right, also rate infinity sign and snakes are transformation. So things are growing, and this is like hold on to that passion that you have, the service, the helping others. Hold on to it. Be innocent, all right, and be strong in what you're believing. The growth is going to come, and it already is. Good card. Good card for you. Yes, definitely. All right, let's see. Steph, then Leah, this card is for you. Leah, we got the seven of wands. All right, so Leah, this is like being on the line with somebody. It's like you have seven wands here, one's here, the fox is on there. So careful of like what's being talked about. Look deeper, all right? Listen to your gut because this is either, this is sometimes like a secret you're keeping a secret or others are keeping a secret. So really start listening and paying attention to all the signs around. I think that's a good card for everybody right now. Being really knowing what your gut is saying and really listening to what it is. All right. So this is a good reminder. All right. Very good reminder. All right. Eileen, this card is for you. We got the nine of wands. So Eileen, this is a good message for you to keep doing what you're doing. Keep building your work. This is passions, desires. You're building it. I always talk about two spirituality, right? I always talk about spirituality and the wands because that's our inner purpose. All right. So nines are like almost, but not yet. So you have more to come in. Follow your intuition, right? There we go. And keep building what you're building. All right. I imagine you have some kind of art, right? Yes. 
All right, Steph, love one. Steph, will of fortune. All right, so Steph, don't sweat the small stuff. Well, I can't say it's small stuff right now. All right, Steph, let's take that over. Have a lot of strength and faith. Keep doing your work. Your, your business will come back. Everybody needs their hair done, all right? Your, your doors will be full as soon as we get back to work. So do your practice. Build your skills. And again, I'm going to tell you, go in deeper. That wheel's going to turn. Go in deeper. What else can you do at this time, all right? You know what I'm talking about. Go in deeper. Be strong. The wise owl is there. And always say when this card comes up, the cosmos has your back, all right? The wheel of fortune. The universe has your back, all right? Yay. I love it. All right, Lexi, a card for you. Check over here. Meredith, I'll come back over here. Meredith, Kim, and then Chad, all right? All right, so Lexi, here we go. This one is for you, drama. The two of wands, love this card. This is about being really strong in your power, really strong in your purpose and your passion is what I'm trying to say. The two things come to a point, all right? Wands is our passions and desires, that fire energy. And look at the beautiful rainbow. So be strong, all right? This is like also too, reminds me of a mantra, one pointed focus, all right? We do an ascension, one pointed focus. So that's what this reminds me of, be strong, all right? I know right now we all need that strength, all right? Definitely, all right, I'm coming over here to Facebook. Millie, this card is for you. Millie, father of wands, all right? So this is telling you to be a little bit more, have some of that father energy, that male energy, that masculine energy, which we hardly ever say anymore, but it's talking like, like balance the yen, all right? Be a little bolder. How about that? Because I know you're doing some really great stuff. You're putting yourself out there. So I think this is like, like a confirmation card for you. The lightning bolt is there. I've seen you've been doing some live streaming. Bolder in what you do, you've got this, all right? I love it. I love it. I love it. Meredith, death. All right. So this is like the tower. Do not fear death. No transformation is coming, all right? So this is just an extra little voice for you right now to go, what can I shed? Maybe you're doing too much. Maybe you have too many ideas. I don't really know. But what can you shed right now as we rebuild? A great card, a great reminder. I never worry about this coming up because when it shows up, it means like there's going to be growth under there. So don't be afraid of it. Let something go. Cleanse away. Rebirth is coming, all right? Let me know if you have any questions about that card. All right, Kim. Kim, good to, good to see you here. Thank you. Good video. Thank you so much. All right, Kim, we have the Five of Swords. All right, so this card has a little bit of that, like, it's of the mind. Swords is of our mental plane. Look how it's cutting off. Five is change. So be careful not self-sabotaging, all right? I always think of this card as kind of like the self-sabotaging of our mental self. We have an idea. No, I can't do that. We cut ourselves off. I want to do this. No, that's not good. Cut yourself off. So really try to bridge that energy, all right? Bridge that energy meditate, practice your Reiki. Those are the things that are going to help bring this back together for you so you can move through the change. All right. All right, Chad, Chad, welcome to the Empowered Spirit Group. I saw you come in today. Yay. All right. Son of Swords. We got this last week, I do believe. So this is about really looking deeper at some of the details of your life. All right. So sometimes we can be way out there and forget that. Sometimes we can be the opposite too deep and forget to look out. So really kind of go in there be a little picky about it. Look at some of the details of your life, which will help you to answer some of the questions as you move forward, okay? Very good, but good, good, good advice for that for all of us, really, all right? And these cards do transfer over all the way. All right, Millie says thanks. Meredith says thanks, too. All right, if I missed anybody communicating while remote working, all right, great, you are. All right, Steph, amen, sister. All right, thanks, Eileen Fav. I got that one last week and this week feeling stronger. Excellent. Yay. Very important to be clear and upfront. Use your discernment with communicating and with receiving information right now. Yay, Leah. Love that. All right. Friends, ferrets, I will give you a card. How's everything? How's your daughter doing? You have a four of cups. All right. This is that energy where cups is of the heart. We want to remind ourselves to be grateful for what we have. We all need this right now, right? It's like, you know, like sometimes we forget. We get into the fear, and that's what's going on right now. Let go of the fear. Offer gratitude. Be present with what your emotions are, and know this is going to pass, all right? Definitely. So sometimes you'll see this card when it talks about, um, you know, like, like people look at you and think like, what are you complaining about? You have everything you need, right? So it's like really kind of coming back in and recognizing that you do have what you need right now and that you are okay. All right. Hey, Catherine. All right, Mayor, I see you just came in. Mayor, how you doing? 
All right, Mayor, we got this card, which is kind of interesting. This is the Three of Swords. So this is a little healing right now, all right? So beyond everything else we're healing from. But this is just maybe maybe you've come back into some energy of your mind. And it, it's a little bit of the heart, but it's a little bit of the mind, where you wrap yourself up in your mind so much that you can't quite see clearly. So just know you might have to go through a little extra emotions as we move through the dark of the moon today and tomorrow, but that's okay. Clear the mind. Let it go. It may be some old energy that's come back around. Just let it go so that you can open up to new thoughts and new ideas as we move into the new moon. All right? Definitely. All right. All right. Thank you. And the daughter is doing well. Hashtag no school. All right. Did I miss anybody? If I did, repost again because it goes by so fast I can't quite see it. Appreciate everybody's comments. Amen, sister. All right. So, yes, guys, reach out. All right, reach out. I always have a virtual phone call on my website. If you need to chat, reach out, chat, let's talk. Let's get through this. Let's build a beautiful vibration so that we all can see a better world. Mother Earth is crying. We need these changes. Nobody wanted to go through it like this, including me. I did not either. So let's do our work. Take this time that you do have a, at home, right? If we don't, it's going to be gone too. But take this time to go deep. Spirit, 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 spirit within you. What is it crying? What is it calling? What is it saying to you? All right. Check out the podcast. Find me online. Come into the Empowered Spirit Circle. Definitely going to be doing some tapping this week. Thanks again so much for joining me. Notice how you feel this evening. Be sure to drink some water and wash your hands. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for joining me. This is your host, Terry and Hyman. To your spirit, namaste. All right, Facebook guys. Thank you, guys.